Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So today we're going to complete the Interlace Mother's Day set with this necklace. So for those of you who haven't seen it, here is the bracelet and here is the earring. Here's the bracelet in the in the gold, if you like the gold. So I'm going to move these two out of, the, out of the way and we'll look, take a quick look at the necklace. So the necklace is that same component that I've put here. Now, um, I've done a cubic right angle weave chain to go with this, which I think worked out so beautifully for this necklace. I love it. And so I've attached the component with a little interlace, and I did these little accent beads here. Um, so you, you can actually change this up if you like. You can move these. You can put them, put less on. You can do the whole, you know, necklace with uh, accents, anything you like. So you can change it up a bit. So I just wanted to just show you real quick that... You could make this either the one a one stone necklace, and here's a I'm just putting this next to it, or a three stone necklace. So I don't have all three made, but just to give you an idea. So here you go. I love it with the larger stone in the middle and the two smaller stones on the side, but you can also do it with all three of the bigger stones. So I was looking if I had an example of that. I do, and I'll show that to you later, but you can put, so there's enough room in here where you can put, you know, three big stones or one stone or one stone and two small stones. So you can you know, do it exactly the way you like it. All right, so I'm going to clear the decks and we're going to get a materials list going. Okay, let's get a materials list going. So you're going to need a completed Rivoli here, and it's all bezeled, and the way you're going to do this is you're going to, I'm going to link the earring video up there and in the description box below this video so you can go back to that and make your pieces. So the earring video has time stamps where I made this bezel and where I did the smaller bezel, the 10.5 millimeter bezel. So you're going to go back and you're going to get those materials to make the earrings if you want to do the one in the center and then the two small ones. And you're going to get those bezeled and bring them back because we're going to spend a lot of time on the chain and it's going to it's going to be a pretty long video so breaking it up into two we've already done this um, several times already so that video is the perfect video to get these two done so don't forget to do those all right and just make sure that when you make it you have your little bicones at the top these two i don't but you do here and i just wanted to show you here's a little sample i was working on using just three big stones of course i haven't connected this one yet but um so just to give you an idea of how it looked with the three big stones so it's really pretty anyway you know however you like it all right you'll need some 110 seed beads you need some 15 o seed beads you need some three millimeter fire polish beads and this is for the for the accent right here. You can use a round, you can use pretty much anything there, three millimeter. You'll need a stop bead. Here's a clasp. I'm using the glue-in clasp. I used it on this one too. I just think it's really pretty for something round like this. Looks very, very pretty end on it. I love it. So um, that's what I'm using. You can use any clasp you like, of course. And then I have a stop bead. I have a size 11 beading needle and I have some eight and eight pound fire line and I'm using black satin. Okay, a couple things before we start. Coupon codes for this tray, for my favorite mat from Ringsberry, Ringberries. This is the No More Oops Bee Tray. This coupon code, I think, is ending in June, so it's free shipping. So if you want to get this with, for she, with free shipping, I think you need to do it before June or by the end of June. I'll find out when it ends. This one is an ongoing 10% off code. So, you know, if you if you need it, you know, It'll be down there in the description box below the video. All colors, all sizes, all places I purchased my beads will be in the description box below the video as well. Links to this guy, these guys will be in the description box below the video. So don't forget to click the down arrow or the show more and get all that info because there's a whole ton of info down there. And if I forget something, I put it down there too, which is might be likely. Um, all right, so I'm going to clear the decks and we're going to get going. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like my channel and want to subscribe. I would appreciate that. Thank you so much. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, we're back. So I've switched out my my small beads for some large beads because I know some of you are a little nervous about cubic right angle weave, but you can do this. I'm telling you, you can do this. Just hang in with me. You can do this. So I'm going to do it with big beads so you can see what I'm doing. So thread your needle with about I don't know, five feet of thread. You're going to have to add thread. Cubic right angle weave is a thirsty, a thread thirsty stitch, but it's so pretty. Um, all right, put on a stop bead. Leave enough of a tail to sew in. 
or to sew on your clasp if you're putting on if you're sewing on a clasp. So thread your uh, so um, put on your needle four of your eleven O's. I'm using eight O's. Drop them down. I'm gonna make these into a circle by sewing through the first bead after the stop bead. This is what you have. I'm going to sew through this bead. to pick up three beads, exiting here, sewing through the other side, like that. Sew through the bottom bead, and this side bead, like that. I have two units on. Pick up three 11 O's, exiting here, sew around the other side. Sew through the side, top seed bead and the side bead, seed bead. So there, exiting there. Okay, so now you have your first three units on. All right, so just get to that point, we'll go slow and then we'll continue. Okay, we're back. So now we're going to connect the ends. So I'm going to use a different color bead just so you can see the thread path. So I'm exiting here to sew through this one. Just take a breath. <laughs> I always do. Pick up a bead. Sew through this one. So you see the thread path there? I'm going to hold it open. It's just going around like that. So when I pull these together, and I'm going to do it very lightly. I'm going to put my finger here. See what happens? It just turns it into a cube. And then I'm going to sew around all four of these beads to tighten them up. These two. This one. And just like, don't pull too tight. Because when you pull super tight, it just sort of racks everything out. You know, like everything moves in all different directions. If you just hold it lightly, it's a very light touch. You can always tighten it up after, like that, okay? So that's what we have. Now you have your cube. All right? And the only thing you want to do is you just want to tighten up the sides. So if you notice, each side is a right angle weave unit. So we're exiting this bead right here. So I'm just going to look around. So I'm just going to turn it this way. Do you see how I have four beads that are sort of wonky right there? I just need to sew them together. So exiting this bead right here, I'm just going to sew around this unit. One, two. Just hold it lightly in your hand. Three. And this guy. One more, because you want this thread right here. So here I'll take my finger out of the way now. Okay, so now I've sewn that face in. So it's starting to get a little bit tighter so that I can handle it better. So now I'm just going to look around again. So here, I've sewn those in. So I have some beads on this side that are wonky. So here I am, I'm exiting these that I've just sewn in. So I'm just going to work my way around to this group of beads. So here I'm just, I'm exiting here. I'm just going to sew through this guy. Just going on right angles everywhere, right? This is where my tail thread is. So I just want to sew these four beads in right here. So I'm just going to sew through this one. Sew through this one. So it's like a little corner, like a little um, road going through all the beads, and that's what tightens it up, and um, makes it a nice sturdy unit. So I'm going to come up through this bead right here, Oops. just to put myself into position for adding more units. All right, just like that. So now, when I look at all my beads, they're all this—they're all sewn together. In other words, there's a thread between each corner 
here. So when I hold it like this, here's my little cube, like that, all right? So get to this point, you can do it, just take your time, and then come on back and we'll add some units on. Okay, we're back. So let's um, add some units on. So I'm going to, again, I'm gonna use this, see if it helps to use this other color. So here I am, here's my, my little cube, and I hope you were able to get that done. I mean, it just, you have to just keep practicing. So I'm gonna pick up three beads, exiting here, I want to sew around the other side of the bead I'm exiting. I'm going to rotate my piece towards me and advance through the next bead. I'm going to pick up two more. I'm exiting here. I'm going to sew through this one and this one. It's another. Right angle with unit face on, rotate, advance through the next bead. Pick up two, sew through this one, and this one. Rotate, advance through the next bead. Now I just have to add one bead on because I have three. Right there. One, two, three. I'm going to sew through this one. I'm going to put a green one on just because it maybe it'll make it easy for you to see the unit there. Up the side one. Across the top. Now I'm going to sew these beads together. So we always have to sew our ends together. So here, just so through all the beads. Like that. All right, so now you have the next unit on. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to keep doing that until you have 17 units on. Now, I also have um, several cubic right angle weave videos. I'll post the a link to the playlist so that up there and down there so that you can you know if you need a little um, you know primer on it you've got it so we're going to add we're going to make 17 units all together so you're going to count them by counting this top bead so I have two units on right now you're going to do 17 full units and then meet me back here I'm going to come back with um, a piece done in 11 O's and we'll continue with that all right see you in a few Okay, we're back. So before we continue, a couple things. One, when I told you originally that, um, you know, you put on your certain amount of thread and had a stop bead and leave enough of a tail to sew in, that was right. Where I said, or enough to put on your clasp, I lied. Okay, this is the center of your necklace, so we're going to continue from here on and here on. It doesn't really matter. You still need that same amount to sew in. We're going to add a thread anyway here because you didn't want to have a whole you know five feet of thread hanging off the other end so we'll just this is the center of your necklace okay so sorry about that anyway here's my piece I have my 17 units on so sometimes just wanted to show you sometimes when I do a piece like this and I need to make sure it's straight and look at the top I take a wire and I just straighten out the beads by putting it all the way through the top and I know that now I'm straight my piece isn't twisted everything is good um, you don't have to leave it in there. You could leave it in there a little bit if you want, but you know, sometimes that's helpful just for visually for seeing. You can even put a thread there. So visually it helps me sometimes. So just a little something, something that might be helpful. All right, so here I am exiting a side bead. And what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna add this little accent bead on. So let me move that out of the way. I don't wanna get too close. All right, so here we are. So we're going to have our, we have our fire polish beads, our 11 O's, and there are a few little 15 O's here. So I'm going to pick up an 11 O of fire polish, an 11 O. Now you can do any combination of colors here. You can make it all metallic. You can change, you know, any colors, however you like it. All right, so 11 O, fire polish 11 O. Exiting here, just coming around. I'm doing the same cubic right angle weave units, only I'm putting a big bead right there. 
going to rotate my piece, sew through the next bead. Pick up an 11 0 and a fire polish, sewing through this one. Up the side bead. Rotate, advance through your next bead. up an 11-0. Oh, here we go. 11 and a fire polish. Exiting here. So through this one and the side bead. So we're just putting on another right angle, a uh, cubic right angle weave unit just with one big bead in the middle. Rotate and advance. So here are your beads here. You have your three, so so through the top bead. Pick up a fire polish, sew through these two, sew through the top bead. Now we're just going to turn it this way and just sew all the, the, the four beads together. So one, here, one more time. And we have that the fire polish beads on. So get that done and then we'll continue. Here back. So let's continue. So now we have a number of units that we're going to put on in between the the two fire polish units. So let's continue on. So you're going to pick up three eleven o's. So we're switching back to the eleven o's now. Let's see if I can pull it super tight for this. So we're just going to do more cubic right angle weave. So exiting here. Sew around the fire polish. What we're going to do here is before we advance, we're going to pick up a 15 0 and just add a little 15 0 right here. Just looks pretty, fills in the little space. Then you're going to take two of your 11 0s. Going to sew through this guy. And then up through this one. You can go through the little 15 0, but I don't think it's necessary. Just one around it. Like that. Rotate. Pick up your 15 0. Sew through the next bead. Pick up two 11 0s. Do that again. I'm going to sew through this guy. And up through the fire polish. Rotate, pick up a 15 -0. sew through the next fire polish. Now you have your three beads on here, one, two, three. So don't worry about that, we'll get that 15-0 in. You're going to sew through this one, pick up 11 -0. sew through this guy, and of course this one to put that bead on, like that. And now we're going to put on the last. Just like that. All right, so now we have our first round on. So what we're going to do here, so it looks all like crazy at the end, right? So we want to sew these four beads together right here. So I'm just going to actually sew through this guy and then through these four. One, two, Three and four and rotating one more time just to put myself to, to get that last thread in and position myself to put some more beads on. All right, so I know it looks kind of funky back there, but that's just how it should be. Now you're going to pick up three eleven O's. So we've transitioned back to the three eleven O's. We've kind of made this little bit, you know, go around that fire polish bead. So you're going to pick up three 11 O's, exiting here, sew through the other side, advance your needle through this bead. Pick up two 11 O's, sew through this guy, I'll do this one at a time.
through this one. Rotate, sew up through this side bead right here. See, it's just a four bead unit there. It's just that you have three 11 O's and one fire polish, so it looks funky. Pick up two 11 O's, sew through this guy, and this one. So just like we've been doing, rotate up through this one, through the top bead. Pick up an 11 O. Come on around, just like you've been doing. See? So through this, whoops, just the top one. Now sew these beads together. On the end. Okay. So you have. Do that one more time and then come on back and we'll continue. We're back. So we have three units on. It's counting this one. One two, three, we're exiting here. Pick up an 11 -0. fire polish, 11 -0. Exiting here, so through the other side of the bead you're exiting. Like that. Advance through the next bead. Pick up an 11 -0 and a fire polish, so through this guy and the side bead. Advance. Pick, an 11, pick up an 11 0 and a fire polish. So through these two. So through this one. Across the top. Pick up a fire polish. So through this guy. Just like we did before. Up through this one. Across this one. And then sew your beads together. I'm just going to hold it like this. What you have. So when you look at it, see it's just like that. All right, so get that done and then come back and we'll do the next group. All right, see so Let's do our transition back to the 11 O's. Three 11 O's. Exiting here. So around. Pick up a 15 O. So through the next bead. Two 11 O's. So through this one, and remember that side bead, this guy. I'm skipping the 15 0. Pick up a 15 0. Advance through the next fire polish bead. Pick up two 15 0's. So through this one, and the fire polish. I'm just going to do them both at the same time. Like that. Rotate. Put on your last or your next 15 0. Exiting here. So through this one. And pick up an 11 0. So through this guy. Up through this one. Pick up your last 15 0. So through this one. Okay, now here we're going to just sew through this bead here. Now I'm going to look at it this way and just sew these four together. So one, two. There we go. One more time. It's like a, a funky transition, I know, but I think it looks pretty. It kind of gives it a little bit of a slant upwards instead of just being straight up against the fire polish. Okay, then you're just going to continue. Just get you started. Just with 11 O's, three 11 O's, exiting here. 
round. So through the next bead, two 11 O's, and these two. Rotate, so through the next. This That's sticking out bead here. Well, it's not a sticking out bead, but it's here are the four beads, so it's this one. Pick up two. Come on around again. So through the bottom seed bead and that side seed bead. Put on another unit. So through this one. So through this one. Pick up an 11 0. So through the bottom and the side. The top. And so through your beads together. So here. Okay, and so that's all there is to it. So you're going to, so we have two units on, you want to put one more on and then do your fire polish unit again. So I'm going to let you do that. You can just rewind and, um, you know, and if you need to, to get this part done. And then meet me back after you get the fire polish beads on and we'll continue. All right, see you in a minute. Back. So here I finished my last uh, my last embellishment, and I kind of like it. I like the, I'm liking these colors. So this is what this is where we are, right there. So we're going to put this on last. So now we're going to start this end. That's why I said this is not for your clasp. This is just a tail to sew in. So I just have enough of a tail to sew in. If you've left a longer thread, you can use it to continue and then add thread. But I'm just going to, I'm just, so I, I have it like this. I'm just going to turn it around. So this part is here. I like to get the middle done. Um, so I've threaded my needle with about five feet of thread, put on a stop bead, enough of a tail to sew in. I'm just going to get you started on this side. So you want to make sure that you are you are not twisted. Again, you want to make sure all the beads are like in a row. You don't want it twisted like that. You want to make sure that you know the, the surface is is the same all the way down. I actually pulled my thread through this bead so I know it is. All right, so you just want it, that's really important. So I'll just show you how to add the thread. So I'm just going to sew through this bead. And my stop bead is going to stop me. See? And through this one. And now I'm ex I'm going to come sew through this bead. And then I'll be exiting exactly where I want to start my next just move that out of the way where I want to start my next round. Now, I would suggest that you sew these two threads in because they're just going to, as you go around and around, they're going to start twisting around and be annoying. But I'll get you started on this. So we're going to start this end with the fire polish because this is, this is how we have this space in between and then we start here, here, and here. So We're going to start with the fire polish. Let me grab them. And I'll, like I said, I'll just get you started and then you can continue on your own. Okay, so pick up an 11 0, a fire polish, and an 11 0. Sitting here, this guy around, rotate, so through the next bead. 11 0. Fire polish, sewing through the bottom seat bead and the side. Going a little faster now because we've been doing this for a while. Rotate, sew up to the next bead. Fire polish, excuse me, 11 0. Fire polish, sew through this guy and the side one. It's kind of good to sew through both um, at the same time because it holds it together better. So through this guy, the side bead, the top bead, put on your fire polish. So through these two. Through the top bead. I'll sew your beads on. 
or sew them together. Now you've started. Now you're perfect because you've gotten the right amount of beads here. You're in the right place, so you can just continue. So you're just going to do the same exact thing on this side that you did on this side until you have the three units on, just like that. And don't forget to sew these two threads in. If you would like to, all we're going to do for the rest of the necklace, well, actually, just go ahead and do it. You don't even need um, me at this point. So the rest of the necklace is going to be just the right angle, uh, the cubic right angle weave units in 11 O's. Unless you want to add some more um, of the embellishment on. You can space them out more, put them closer together, anything you like. I just did the rest of it all in right, uh, cubic right angle weave units with 11 O's. So you can continue that all the way up um, and until you're done until you have your next necklace length. So don't forget to put the other, you know, these three on and then play as much as you want, do whatever you like at that point, and then come on back and we will I'll show you how to put show you how to attach this guy and the two little ones um, if you want to attach those as well. Alright, so have fun. Go to your happy place, get some tea, get some cookies. Um, it really goes faster than you think. I know it seems like it, you know, it takes a long time, but it doesn't. Once you get going, it's really kind of fun. All right, so have fun. Come on back, and we'll continue back. So I have my little mini going on here. So now we want to put this drop on, the um, bezel on. So here, this is how your bezel should look. All right, so you should have your little units appear on the top to this point, and that video will get to you to this point. All right, so we're going to count our units from here to here, and I'm going to find the middle three. So I have 19 units on, so you're going to count, start like here, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So I'm going to come, so I have all 19 of my units on, I'm going to count in again, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then I'm going to just, I'm just marking my ninth bead, okay? That's the ninth bead. The ninth unit is where we're going to start sewing this on. So I'm going to pick up an 11 out, come through that bead, pick up another 11 out, sew through the original bead you were coming out of. Now you're perfect because you have this first unit on, so you're in a perfect spot right now. So now we're just going to sew through this guy, up through this guy, and then you just want to work your way around to this bead right here, the top seed bead of that next unit. So I'm just going to move this. And you can either move along, you know, you can do it any way you want. You can move along the bezel, you can move along I'm going to move along the, the necklace, so I'm just sewing through the beads on right angles until I get to this bead. So that's it's we're sewn here. Here's the second one. You want to make sure you're going through that third one like that, and make sure you're holding your piece nice and straight so you're not sewing like the top to the bottom. <laughs> Okay, pick up an 11 0. I'm going to sew through this guy on the bezel. Pick up an 11 0. Sew back through this one, so the bead you were coming out of on the necklace. And now you're attached. All right. So that's exactly how you're going to attach it. And then all you're going to do is sew your threads in. So just make sure I got that. Am I, am I? Yes. Okay. Give it a pull. So now I'm just going to, you can just sew down this one. I figure you can tighten this up. So across these guys, you get the idea. And then sew a few times around and then make sure your 
you know, you sew your threads in and then clip your threads off. Okay, so get that done, and then I'm going to show you how to do, put on, the small one. All right, see you in a minute. We're back, so let's put the little unit on so you can get an idea of how it's going to look with this, with this small unit on. So here I have my piece, just like the large unit. I've sewn the bicone and the units at top. You're going to do exactly the way you did it on the larger unit, the same three beads, everything. So get that, make sure you have that done. Then you want to make sure that you have straightened out your necklace so you're sewing it all in the same same um, face of your cubic right angle weave so you know how it has, you know, it's like a cube, right? So you want to make sure, just flatten it out here that that you're not sewing it like to the bottom of something and not, you know, on a different plane, all right? So here's my unit. I'm going to start from this end, just easier. I'm just going to come in one bead. I'm going to work with these three. One, two, and three. So I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to sew. I'm going to pick up an 11 -0. And I'm going to sew through this one. I just like the spacing this way. Like that. I'm going to pick up another one. Sew back through the bead you started with. Now that's on the little unit. And now you have your first end on. I'm going to have to pick it up at this point. We're just going to work our way over to one, two, this bead and this bead. So, so through this guy. And straighten out here. So through this guy. Just going to work all on right angles to get to the other side. Through this one. So I'm just doing everything at right angles through this one I'm headed for this one down through this one one more so here's one, two, three, go through this one I'm going to pick up an 11 0. So through this one. Pick up an 11 0. So back through the one on the necklace. And now I have my unit on. And you know what you're going to do there. Now you're just going to sew in your threads. So we'll reinforce a little bit, sew it in. I'll just put this one here just to give you an idea of how it looks when all three are on. Of course, I don't have the bicon on this one, but really beautiful. Um, the clasp, of course, I'm not going to put the clasp on because I don't have a full necklace, but here's my end. I'm going to put some E6000 in here, about a third of the way up. Just wipe it around the ends a little bit with a, uh, a, a toothpick or a Q-tip. Don't want to put too much in. You want to gush out. And I'm just going to, this is too big. I'm just going to place it on the end like that and then I'm just going to let that dry and just let it sit and dry overnight. Sometimes I use this as well. I use this on the silver one, the Ultra Gel uh, Loctite Super Glue. It's like a, it's a gel and that worked really well. So you can try that one as well. All right, so here's our necklace. Let me pull out and we'll look at the other one real quick again. So here we go. Here are both our necklaces. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you make this for yourself, for your mom, for you and your mom. That would be kind of cool to you both have one in your own, you know, birthstones or favorite colors. All right, so thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.